guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a video on how to get really flexible. This video is a tips for dancers video so I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. So if you're a dancer and you want tips for training, tips for stretching, tips for performance, anything like that, just leave me a comment below or you can tweet me, all my social media links are always in the description and I will definitely do them for you because I think these will be a really cool thing for me to kind of give you my advice of being a dancer and help you. This video is also a collaboration with Erica Lynn here on YouTube. We are doing flexibility on my channel because Erica is super flexible and over on her channel we're going to be doing a tips for becoming a better dancer video because obviously I have some dance experience so I'm going to be helping out her viewers so I hope you guys like it and if you are here from Erica's channel hey and don't forget to subscribe yeah let's get into the video so you guys can follow along with Erica's stretches that she is demonstrating and to begin with she's just doing some basic warm-ups these stretches are all fairly easy for you guys to follow along with at home these first couple of stretches are mainly just to warm up your body and get you ready before we move on to any advanced stretches towards the end of this video the stretches are progressively going to get harder and targeted at people that are more advanced and have a certain level of flexibility already but with that being said this will help dancers to improve their flexibility if they follow along and do these stretches every day Splits are really really important for dancers and getting your splits and your over splits are not only helpful just to have but also to get really good leaps and kicks having your splits is essential so by doing a really deep lunge like Erica is demonstrating you're really going to be helping to stretch out your hip flexors and especially if you do this every single day if you haven't already got your splits you will find that you will get them really really quickly and I know that this is how I got my splits was by sitting in a lunge position for a long amount of time and then you find that every single day it will be easier and you will get lower in your splits so definitely focus on practicing your lunges if you haven't yet got your splits if you have got your splits by sitting in splits and leaning forward as well as leaning backwards you are helping to make your splits very very good and this will in turn help with a lot of dance elements like i mentioned like leaps and kicks and everything like that Stretching out your back bend can again really help to increase your flexibility and also you want to have as much back flexibility as you can being a dancer as having a really good back bend and good back flexibility is a stepping stone to getting a lot of key dance skills. Walking your legs in towards your hands is a great thing to do while you're in a back bend as it will really help to deepen the back bend and the back stretch that you're going to get and as well straightening your legs out will also help to improve your back flexibility and also will help on improving your shoulders and the way that they are positioned. And when back bends become really easy for you, you can practice taking a leg off and try and deepen that stretch and pull your leg as high and into a split as possible. Kicks are really important for dancers so you can go ahead and practice your kicks, you can walk forwards like Erica is demonstrating and try and kick as high as possible. You can also find something to substitute a ballet bar like Erica is demonstrating and practice your kicks behind as this will also help you with your dance training. Again using a ballet bar substitute leaning into your split on a bar is very good at deepening your split stretch and I would recommend this especially if you have got good splits already and are trying to achieve an over split. So another great stretch which is more targeted at somebody that already has the splits would be to get into a downward dog position and try and push your leg as high as possible into a split position. The trick is to kind of keep it there for as long as possible because this can be extremely hard to do and will require a lot of strength and a lot of flexibility but the more you practice the easier it will become. <music> 
These next couple of stretches are definitely more advanced, but Erica demonstrates them perfectly. The more that you practice these key skills, the easier that they will become. And meanwhile, while you're practicing them, you will be improving your flexibility. Now the bow and arrow is a move that I have always struggled with, but Erica is amazing at it. And if you head over to her channel, there is a tutorial that is solely dedicated on how to get your bow and arrow in one day, I believe. So that will definitely help out some of you guys if you are looking to get more advanced moves. number of stretches that you can do in order to become more flexible and I think the really most important thing to hone in on is that you need to practice your stretches every day in order to keep up with your flexibility because if you stop for a week two weeks then it leads to a month a year and then you will find that you have lost your flexibility and you'll no longer be able to do moves that you used to be able to do and it will become harder for you to keep going so I definitely think my number one tip for all of this is to practice stretching every day Thank you for watching today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought and I will see you in my next video. Bye!